Southeast Asia is one of the last regions on Earth where you can still find megafauna living today. In global debates about the megafauna extinction event, Southeast Asia is very rarely considered in these sorts of analyses, yet it's really important to understand what's happening in this last harbour for these megafauna species. At the beginning of the Pleistocene, which is the period that we're looking at geologically, the region seems to be mostly covered in, in rainforests. And what we see is a gradual decline in rainforests and an uh, increase in the amount of grasslands in the area. And then after the, the peak of grasslands about a million years ago, we see a change towards more rainforested conditions like we see today. So with the change of environments, you get different species coming into the region for the first time. And we uh, suggest that the disappearance of those savanna environments probably led to their extinction. What we looked at were the fossil remains of a whole bunch of different animals that were found throughout Southeast Asia, as well as a modern species baseline. Uh, we look at carbon isotopes, which will tell us about what plants the animals are eating. And the major division is between grasses and grazing species versus browsers. So that's things like trees and shrubs and things like that. And so by looking at the proportions of these different carbon isotopes, in the teeth of these different animals, we can tell whether they were primary grazers or primarily browsers or somewhere in between. During the early part of the Pleistocene, what we found was that the region was dominated by these browsing species. As we get towards the middle Pleistocene, we see mostly grazing species. And then finally, as we get towards the late Pleistocene and today, we start to see more and more of these browsing species coming back through. When you look at the Pleistocene record, the animals that are most associated with savanna or grassland environments are the ones that are most likely to have become extinct. But when you look at modern day species, we find the opposite pattern. So we're finding that the ones that are specialised in rainforest, those are the ones that are the most at risk of extinction or becoming extinct. And so what we think is happening is that once humans started occupying those rainforest environments, they really started pushing rainforest species to extinction. So they started to really impact dramatically uh, the distribution and the populations of these rainforest species. And so if this continues and we continue to destroy rainforests uh, at the rate that we're doing, we're really at risk of losing some of the last megafauna that can still be found on Earth.